morning, YouTube. My name is Sharia. This is the Sharia Mag channel where I document my journey towards debt freedom in hopes to build wealth, retire early, or become work independent as a married woman paying debt alone. If you are new here, thank you so very much for clicking on this video. And if you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so very much for coming back. If you're new and you're a viewer but not yet a subscriber, please consider subscribing to follow my journey as I tackle six figures worth of debt in hopes to build wealth, retire early, and become work independent as a married woman paying debt alone. In today's video, I am going to be discussing my quarter four cleanup and my quarter four goals. So if that is something you are interested in hearing, please stay tuned. We'll get right into it. So I did take some notes um, here. So you will see me glancing down at my notes. But quarter four cleanup is basically me reviewing my goals and accomplishments and assessing where um, I am and what I could have done differently. Reviewing my expenses to either lower my expenses or eliminate some expenses. Um, as well as kind of reviewing or um, processing what expenses I would like to include based on what I am trying to do in my life. Um, an example of that would be like, am I interested in paying for meal prep service because I work um, late for my business Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays? Or am I willing to pay for a cleaning service to keep my house clean so that on the days that I am off, which are now only the weekends, um, I'm doing things that I enjoy. I'm spending my time in ways that I enjoy as opposed to, you know, trying to feel like Superwoman and feeling like I have to do it all. So that is basically what this video is about. And like I said, I have um, taken some notes and I will jump right into it. So the first thing um, to clean up my money in quarter four. And like I said, cleaning up is basically like uh, finding any money that is lingering, that is out of sight, out of mind, and assigning it to a task. So a good example of that is, um, I'm not sure if you've been following my journey, um, at least for this year, I left Wake County and Child Protective Services and I went to a work from home um, therapy type job, which I actually enjoyed. I enjoyed being home, but the benefits were so expensive that I would have been bringing home much less money. So instead of staying with that job, I eventually took this job with UNC. <clears throat> but I have, um, I did, I was eligible for a 403B, I believe, type account. And I have about $81 sitting in that account. So the first thing I am trying to do is place all, um, collect all these out of sight, out of mind accounts. For example, that one, that 403B account with $81 and moving it into an account where it can continue to, to basically put that money to work. So I am in the process of trying to get the money out of that account and move it into my UNC account. That is one of the things that I need to do to clean up my money. Um, I need to go through my sinking funds and because some of them do have money in them, my sinking fund envelopes um, and see, you know, do I want to continue to use this money for this fund or do I want to redistribute this money to another fund or is there something that I can use this money for this time and start this fund fresh? Um, that type of thing. Also, monthly subscriptions. So I don't really have a lot of monthly subscriptions. I usually try to pay for everything annually because it usually becomes cheaper. But I am currently paying for Amazon Prime. And that is not an expense. You know, we don't really watch Prime TV. I don't watch TV at all. Um, I don't think my kids watch Amazon Prime TV. And so that $13.87, you know, $13.87 times 12 is, 
$166.44. That $166 could be working for me in my 401k or in my M1 finance account or in my um, freedom fund or it could be going towards my student loan. So that is definitely a subscription that I am considering canceling. And that is really the only subscription. If you follow my budgets, that is really the only subscription that I am paying for. Because like I said, I feel like it is more cost effective to pay for um, annual memberships as opposed to monthly memberships. Oh, the other subscription I am currently paying for that I am considering canceling is my gym membership. I have been out of the gym now for about a month and I'm not seeing where I will have the time to go back into the gym. Um, working out in the evenings is not uh, does not work for me because it keeps me up throughout the night. And I just, I value sleep about as much as I value health. I feel like getting an, a certain amount of sleep is um, beneficial for me. And so I'm not willing to get up any earlier than 5.30 in the morning. And unfortunately, getting up at 5.30 in the morning does not give me enough time to make it to the gym. So that is another expense that I am considering canceling. Um, but I haven't, I, I go through these cycles where I cancel, then I join, then I cancel, then I join. And so I don't want to keep going back and forth. And so I'm really putting more thought into that as opposed to the thought I'm putting into my Amazon Prime membership. Um, another thing is looking for any hidden money, such as, you know, items that I could Items that are laying around that I no longer use, but for whatever reason have not parted with. Children's clothes, my son's clothes that could possibly be consigned. Um, items that I no longer use. Items that I have purchased, but I have not used and are still eligible for a refund. Any coins in any purses, coins or cash in any purses or pockets or um, under the mattress, anything like that. Any loans, and these are personal loans, loans to people that have said, oh, I'll get you back, I'll get you back, and I haven't really pressed the issue of getting my money back, um, it's time to collect those loans. And so if I definitely don't want it to be awkward, I don't want to lose any friendships behind any money because I had adapted that never let people borrow more than you are willing to give away. But I do want to let them know that, like, I would like to have the money back. But if um, you can't give me the money back, that's fine. We'll just squash this debt. Um, or I can. this can be your Christmas gift to you or your birthday gift to you. Just keep the money or whatever. Um, but doing those types of things. And then closing any accounts. This is so pivotal for me because, I like, I do have my own personal business and I will eventually, I am considering, again, I go back and forth on if I want to be fully remote, if I want to be in person, because I do want to host like some groups and some um, events. And so I would like a space to be able to do all of that. And so I go back and forth with uh, trying to get, if I want to buy a building. And so um, closing credit accounts that are on my personal credit is going to be pivotal to that process. Um, I do have some very old accounts and I was thinking that they would just fall off, but they are still on my credit. And I really need to take the time to call and see like, can you close this account? I have not used it in so X many years. Um, and just following up with those types of things. Finally, as for my quarter four goals, I would really like to get up to, ideally, I would love to get to a thousand subscribers and just trying to figure out a plan that will get me there. Initially, obviously, I'm thinking like I would have to post more often um, and remain consistent, which I'm, I feel like I'm doing really good at remaining consistent, but I'm just not sure if I can get to posting any more than the three videos that I'm posting um, now. 
and also replying to comments i don't reply to comments as soon as they uh, post but i do try to take out a specific day or morning to respond to all the comments and so i'm doing really good with that but my goal for quarter four is to at least get to 800 subscribers i just recently got to 700 subscribers so I would love to get to 800. That would be a, an ideal goal. An optimal goal would obviously be to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And I know that giveaways play a major part in that, especially if you have a higher percentage of people that watch your videos that are not subscribed to your channel. But my back and forth or my hesitance with doing giveaways is that i don't want people to subscribe to my channel just for the giveaways who don't really find value in the content that i'm sharing and so that is really the only reason why i don't give giveaways or don't do giveaways but i am really strictly considering that i would love to give you know maybe like a 25 dollars gift card to amazon or target or if those are just some of my favorite places so that is one of my quarter four goals is to get at least 100 subscribers, additional subscribers, but I would love to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2021. Another goal for me is to pay 10% on my student loans. I'm not going to go too much into detail about that because I will be sharing my student loan attack strategy in my student loan Saturday video, which will be posted the first weekend of October, which is my birthday weekend. So um, I won't go too much into detail about that. I would also love to be able to save a thousand an additional thousand dollars into my freedom fund. So to get that up to five thousand dollars would be great. And then obviously pay off my Best Buy credit card. So those are my quarter four goals. Um, I haven't really created an action an action plan for those. But I do plan on, oh, I know I have. So gain an additional 50 subscribers would mean that I post consistently, continue with Transfer Tuesdays, Debt Updates, and Student Loan Saturdays because those are my highest viewed videos. Reply to comments and start a new series, which is my savings goal tracking. Um, also, I would love to get 50 subscribers on Instagram. And some of these... Um, like routine videos or routine posts well by starting routine posts and responding to all comments and getting more personal on my instagram live or my instagram stories as for my student loans to pay 10 percent, that would be one thousand eight hundred eighteen dollars and fifty two cent to pay off my best buy credit card it is down to 1150 it'll be down to 1100 after i make a payment today and then to save a thousand dollars i would have to save three hundred and thirty three dollars every month in the fourth quarter so october november and december 333 dollars so is that obtainable definitely because i already saved 250 dollars in my freedom fund so that would just be an additional with uh 63 dollars maybe let me see 333 minus 250 83 dollars so an additional 83 dollars um so that is it for my quarter four goals and how I plan to clean up my money in preparation for 2022. I will be sharing my 2022 financial goals, business goals, and personal goals later in quarter four. Um, that is it for this video. If you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to follow my journey to eliminate six figures worth of debt in hopes to build wealth, retire early, or become work independent as a married woman paying debt alone. If you are not following me over on Instagram, please consider doing that as well. That is it for my video. What are your quarter four goals? If you have a video or if you have ones that you would like to share, please let's get that conversation started down in the uh, comment section. And do remember that the debt-free journey is indeed a journey, not a destination.